What's up guys, Yo Biddy OP is here, and here's episode 3 of Detective Pikachu. This time, uh, we're going to hopefully finish up this case and figure out about who attacked Apom and possibly has a necklace. Which, from last time, we figured out that it is most likely Murkrow who attacked the Apom. So we're going to figure that out now. Now, they said it was the thick tree by the pond. Oh wait, we can't go... Which, huh? We look into our case list. Location of Murkrow's nest. It's built. It built its nest in the thick tree by the pond. Alright, so we're by the pond. That's Starly. That's you. Oh, this one. So let's investigate it. Investigate the Murkrow's nest. Let go. What do we got here? Nest could be up in this tree. Yeah. And it looks like no one's home. So, if we're going to investigate, I'll take a look. Let me know if it comes back. Right, gotcha. Alright, so you're just gonna break into their house. That's crazy. Well, oh, oh, oh shit. I, I did it again. I hesitated. That. <laughs> Quick time stuff. Oh, it gets smaller too. Ooh, challenging. Alright, that was simple. It, it just, like, like it always it confused me at first. Because I just wouldn't think that it would be a there any kind of that kind of game. To be found in here. Oh, here we go. Hey Tim, found something. Uh oh, what's that? <laughs> Pikachu, it's Murkrow. Oh shit! <laughs> Damn. Oh, I gotcha. <laughs> that face. Thanks for the help. Nice catch. I took a bit of a hit there. But now we have the evidence we need. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we got Murkrow's feather. Yeah, it was it was worth it. Let's get right to comparing it with our feather. It looks like we were correct. The black feather that we found at the scene definitely came from a Murkrow. Yep. Quick, let's do an interrogation. All right. Sounds good. Takes a shine to shiny objects. Mm. All right, I get it. I'm sorry I entered your nest without asking. <laughs> anyway, you fought with Apom, right? Murkrow! 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 You did it, huh? Huh. Why don't you show it what we found? This feather is yours, right? It was lying next to the Apom that fainted. Murkrow! 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 Right, so it was you. <laughs> Wow, all right. You had your eye on the necklace. So, what did you do with it, huh? You lost it during the fight. Of course you did. Lame excuse. And now you're saying it was someone else. But it seemed like you and Apom were the only ones that were there. You're saying Burmy were in that tree. Hmm. Guess we'll check that out. I mean, Murkrow just could be bullshitting. Uh -huh. right, right. If we are to believe that what Murkrow said, there were burn me in a tree near the spot where Apom is lying down. You finally get to Murkrow, and now we're right back where we started. That's not true. We've learned some new facts. We're steadily approaching the necklace. Alright, so. I guess we're uh, heading back to where the fight originally took place and see if we can find anything but how are you guys doing today hope you're all well be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe if you enjoy the videos and whatnot um all right wait oh let's check out this tree is this the tree marker we're talking about with apom seems like there's no one here it's sure hard to tell by looking at it let's shake it a little bit okay hey there we go Innoc innocent and cheerful Sorry if we startled you. There was a fight at this tree earlier, and we think a necklace may have fallen nearby. Know anything? <laughs> okay. Well, thanks anyway. Wait, don't leave yet. There's some more stuff we'd like to ask. I think they might be afraid. Well, they are jabbering about a ball flying around. A ball? Hmm. Just two more questions. 
What happened after the fight? Did anyone else come around? Sorry, okay, so let's ask about the necklace. Uh, so you remember there being a fight, but you don't know anything about the necklace. Interesting. You know, is there anything in the fight between Apom and Murkrow? Nothing, uh, even minor details would help with Oh, one of your buddies got caught up in the fight? Interesting. So it ran away and hasn't come back. So there's a missing Burmy somewhere. Why were you flustered just now? Going on and on ab about the balls. Hmm, a black and white ball. Huh, a black and white ball. I wonder. Alright. So, oh, let's talk to him. Hey, Tim. They said one of the Burmy has yet to come back, right? It must have gotten caught up in something. Let's look for it. Sure, but how? According to the Burmy, it must be in some other tree. Okay. So, I guess we're going to be shaking trees to figure out uh, about Burmy. Nope, nothing. Actually, let's talk to this kid, because... Alright, let's ask about the Burmy. Burmy went missing. Have you seen it? Hmm, Pokemon about the size burn uh, about the size of Burmy went running towards the cafe, but somehow it didn't seem like Burmy. Um, okay. About the ball. Oh, well, actually, last night the ball hit one and broke its cloak. Wow, what a jerk. <laughs> oh, so that. Thanks for telling me. Hmm. Oh, we have to. No, not you, Pit of. If it's a runaway, treated nicely? No, it's nothing like that. So you have seen it? Okay. Oh. Alright. Salt to this pit of real quick. About Burmy. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> You're like, we've uncovered the sad truth. Okay, that was nothing. All right, so let's go to the cafe because maybe we'll find it in a tree in there. Okay, all right, let's check. I think I heard Burmy just now. I don't know. It's up. So not in those. Oh. This one feels like it would be it. Oh, here we go. Hey, hey different he color, Burmy. Burmy. Are you sure? Yeah. But this one looks a little bit different. Oh, I wonder why. Hey, can we talk to you for a second? Oh, oh warmer dam. Don't get close to Burmy. Why? What in the world are you talking about? Are you its guardians? We're not trying to eat it or anything. We happen to be looking for something and we just want to talk to it. <laughs> it's I I'm still uh, it's still hard to take this Pikachu serious with this voice. I heard of being protected, but yeesh. Oh well. Worma. Worma dam? Alright, let's ask about the necklace. There was a quarrel at the tree near the fountain today. Any a necklace must have fallen close to it. Do you know anything about that? Doesn't know anything about any quarrel and hasn't seen a necklace. If it's not at the scene, then it can't be helped, of course. About the Burmy. Let's see. Sure that that one was trash cloak, but Burmy are a Burmy, right? If you say they are unrelated, let us talk to it directly. If there are no proof that it's involved in the incident, you won't let us talk to it? Oh god. <laughs> we won't get anywhere like this. Let's go. The f what the hell are we supposed to- Oh. Hold on. Judging from that reaction, there's definitely something to that trash cloak Burmy. If we could just talk to it directly. Yeah, so we have to find some proof that will satisfy the Wormadam. Let's gather info about Bur the Burmy. All right, let's talk to people. Evolves into Wormadam, though maybe that's too obvious. 
Okay, what was that like not known? <laughs> Can I help you? There are definitely various kinds. The old timer way over there may know. Wow, she actually called him old timer. That's crazy. Not you. Uh let's Where's this up oh, this old timer? Hello. I'm glad you asked. I actually wanted to become a Pokemon professor in my younger days. You ready? Let me tell you about Burmy. <laughs> Incorporates things that are around it into its cloak when it makes one. Depending on stuff it incorporates into it, its cloak will be one of three kinds. Poignant, sandy, or trash. Alright. Alright, so let's ask about them. Okay, that's simple, sandy, and trash. That's a cloak made from trash. You can see a lot of them downtown. All right. Hmm. All right. What's good? I guess this means that. What's up? Hey, Tim, do you remember that blunt guy around the fountain? Let's ask him what the... What? All of a sudden? Don't worry about that. To the man by the fountain. All right, let's... Go over there and chat with him, I guess. Maybe he will have some info. Yo, what up? You're kind of busy. You've been busy for so long. Shut up. Do you know anything about Burmy? Nope, I'm pretty bit Oh, my fucking God. About when did you lose the pen? Huh? What's this now? It was last night. I was flustered when I was taking notes here, and I dropped it at the time. Do you know... Can you, can you not just get another pen, man? Like, come on. <sighs> oh, okay. The missing pen. And the busted cloak. Hmm. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Wait, hold on. Bolt of brilliance. Wow. That was, uh, that was something. The missing pen. We will find it in Burmy's cloak. Oh, interesting. We've heard that Burmy make their cloaks out of random stuff. If a pen was lying near the Burmy with the busted cloak, let's go right and check it out. Hi. Yes, we're back. I'm sorry, but can we investigate your cloaks? Burmy, Burmy, Burmy. <laughs> what did they say, Pikachu? They said no way they get ticklish. What the fuck? Okay? Uh, are they hurt? Sorry. How are you that incompetent? Be more careful, okay? Okay. You just destroy. Hey, hey. what do you know? Prediction was right on. <laughs> That's great. What about the necklace? <laughs> Slow down. I'm getting to that. A genius cannot be rushed. Interesting. Just like the pen, there's a high chance that the necklace got incorporated into a Burmese cloak. But it didn't come out just now. Is that one here? A trash cloak Burmy? But that kid said the cloak was different, so it's unrelated. Yeah, there's some trick to it. Trash means cleaning, right? There must be someone who knows about that. Let's ask around. It does mean cleaning, and hello, cleaning lady. Do you know anything about Burmy? The tree that Burmy lives in loses more leaves than the other leaves, but there is something that's been on my mind. Interesting. What's been on her mind? The trash disappeared. The trash can near the tree that Burmy lives in fell over at some point, but the contents have disappeared. What happened? When I checked in the morning, the trash can was full of garbage, but the amount of loose trash after it tipped over was clearly less than it had been earlier. Hmm. The Apon was involved in that fight at the time, so I don't think anyone would have gone near it. Hmm. Now we've collected some important information. Let's think about its cloak. Why did it become trash cloak form? Let's see. All right. Another theory. It was a plant cloak Burmy, and it got all caught up in Apon's fight, which caused its cloak to break. So here's a question for you. What evidence points to that? There we go. That's it. You're right. Now, let's head to the place with the warmer dam. All right, sounds good. It broke once and was remade with trash. 
some good stuff. Hey there, you got a sec? Would you mind if we took a look at your cloak? Oh God! <laughs> they be like, they're like, hell no. We think the necklace we're looking for must have gotten mixed up in Burmy's cloak. It's not in the cloaks of the other Burmy, which means it can only be in this one. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> Come on, why are you so overprotective? Will you let us look if we show you some proof of a Burmese cloak changing from plant cloak to trash cloak? <laughs> That's good. Tim, you have some proof? Do they do they not know how their own pre-evolutions work? Let's see. The leaves. Mm-hmm. That's right. This is what happened. The Burmese cloak got caught in the fight between Merkle and oh, Napalm. Oh god. These leaves are from that cloak. Well, that's not all. Interesting. Listen up. Burmy got flustered, and so it decided. Uh, I like this. I like this music that came in. Trash. Oh my God! This is this is just odd for a cutscene. Thank you for your understanding. Now, I'll make this quick. Oh God. And what do you know? You found it. The necklace. Yep. Let's go deliver it. Yeah. Let's do it. So that was fun. Apon was unconscious under a tree, and the necklace was gone. Who is the owner of the bud? Wait, it was Murkrow's feather, but Murkrow didn't. Okay, I I, I guess I didn't need to read all that, but we got the necklace. <laughs> and they're still chilling. Here. Let's go. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Pikachu. Oh wait, she didn't know the older girl? Oh, I thought they were like related or something. You're really nice. You're damn right I am. Yeah, because I did all the work. Yeah, shut up. Pikachu helped a lot too. Like a great partner, and his hat's really cute. <laughs> Damn, get it. I guess I should get going. Uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Wow. Anyway, you're going to the Baker Detective Agency, right? So our main character is is a pussy. <laughs> oh my. And your father's Detective Harry Goodman's partner. Currently, I'm working out of the Baker Detective Agency where we used to consult. Wait, what? Dad's Pikachu. Is that really you? What do you mean, is that really me? Uh, sorry. The last time I saw you, you seemed cuter and a bit more docile. Wow. You say I used to be cute, huh? Unfortunately, I lost my memory. What? You've got amnesia? But you said you remember my dad. Well, it's not like I really remember him. I just figured it out from the other conversations. Hey, Interesting. Isn't your appointment at three? Let's go. All right, so Pikachu showed me the way to the Baker Detective Agency, and I was on my way. All right, so I think this is just about a hey, but de Baker Detective Agency. I think this is just about where I'm gonna end the episode. Here we are. The offices are up on the second floor. Are they? When you meet with Baker. Probably shouldn't let him know you can talk to me. Of course I won't. Nobody would believe it anyway. Good. You're very smart. I try. All right. So wait, is there gonna be more cutscenes? Oh, it is. Hey, it's a Fletchling. Ooh, hello. Thank you, Fletchling. Amanda Blackstone. I'm back. This is Tim. Ooh, cookies. Hi, Pikachu. Lunch isn't ready yet. Good afternoon. Uh, hello. Can I help you with something? Uh, yeah. Oh, and it's Mike Baker. Amanda, is that Tim? Yes. You're Mr. Baker, right? Oh, you must be Harry's son. I'm Amanda. It's nice to meet you. I'm Tim. Nice to meet you. Get it. I've heard so much about you. It feels like we've already met. And you look just like your dad. Hmm, interesting. Hey, Pikachu, 
You're eating all of the sweets for the clients again. What's the problem? More than them. <laughs> Jesus. Could really use a sugar boost. Hey, not my ears again. What are you doing? That oh my god. Oh, you're hurting me. Got him. All right, more cutscenes. So, Lit. My dad had an accident while he was on a case investigating a Pokemon. Oh man. Yes. And only Pikachu was left at the scene. It's been two months, and well, we still have no idea where your father is. Oh God. Aren't the police investigating? I don't know. It's crazy how like he he's so like so composed oh, emotionally with his freaking father missing. Like damn. Even so we still don't know anything. Tim. This is just between us. Uh oh. There are some suspicious things going on. They need to be investigated carefully. So please understand this may take a while. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna look for him too. That's the reason I came here. Not a good idea. I understand how you feel, but it's too dangerous for you. Fuck yes, that. <sighs> Tim, just punch him in the face right when, now. When there's any progress, I will let you know. In the meantime. Don't do anything dangerous. I mean it. Your father would never forgive me, you know? I understand. Yeah, but we ain't gonna listen to him, right? Alright. So, with that, I think we're going to end things off right here. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we will be continuing on next time with this interesting adventure. <laughs> but anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Take it easy. Peace.